Hello everyone, we are back for our third drive today. We are going to Lowe's and then to Aldi. Um, and we're just gonna kind of see how it works for us. Um, so far, so good. This has been, I'd say, just as good as 69.3. So we are 69.3.1, of course. And let's go ahead and get out into the lane. Let's see if we can enable it before it um, gets to the turn. See what it does here. So last time, if we turn into this lane and get over into the middle lane like it's doing right now, is it going to stay in the middle lane? It will. So I think that's totally appropriate. Um, I think I think that's great. That that's exactly what it needs to do. Now what it now fortunately. I'm hoping we can get this light to turn green before a car shows up. Uh, no, this car. Uh, wait. Uh, it's gonna say. Yep, that's what. That's what's happened previously. It wanted to go over into that lane. It doesn't realize the lane on the right there is um is not this lane. So that um has happened in previous versions. The only reason it didn't happen last time on 69 that green taking this route. Yeah, go, go ahead and get over. Um, a little bit hesitant to get over. So the only reason it did that this time is because I didn't have a car next to me already. Because that truck showed up last second, it didn't have a clear indication that truck was there. What it was trying to do is get, move, change lanes back behind that truck. And that wasn't good. It shouldn't do that. It wasn't changing lanes. It thought it was like gonna, it thought it was in its lane and it's gonna continue being in its lane. So that, um, I am guaranteed that would have happened on the previous version. I just got lucky last time. Um, that doesn't make this version worse, per se. I mean, if you go strictly on disengagements, yes, that would make it worse. But we're, we're, we're no longer... Is this guy going to back... Okay. Um, sorry, I want to make sure this guy was going to start backing up um, if he didn't fit into that driveway. Um, but, yeah, so that's something that previous versions have done. I press the snapshot button. Hopefully they will fix that. That is definitely a problem on that particular intersection. It doesn't it doesn't see the two lanes and it doesn't realize it's all of a sudden just jerking over into the other lane when it shouldn't be. Okay, so it braked a little bit for that car um, when it shouldn't have. It started accelerating because of the speed limit change and it braked all of a sudden. What's it doing? That was not great. Um, yeah, that wasn't great because it, it got really hesitant for that phantom brake. It slowed down for the railroad tracks. Interesting. I think it's because of all the signs that were right there, not because of the railroad tracks. Yeah, so there's a lot of weird hesitancy with this version. I did not see a multiple. I did this route again, just didn't video it the next weekend um, just to see. And it was just as good. It's actually better. Uh, and then the, the video I recorded, it was actually better. This one, uh, the few areas are honestly not better. Um, it's not you know, super bad by any means. I think it's perfectly okay. And it's still better than 69.2.4 uh, was. Um, okay, that was interesting. Um, I thought I was in the other lane and needed to change lanes real quick. This is a really interesting construction zone right here. So once we get on to this lane here, I need to cancel it. So we'll continue on to Aldi. It needs to recalculate. I think because I pressed the snapshot button. Uh, yeah, because I pressed the snapshot, it's starting to upload. There we go. So I guess the route was already created before it showed up on screen. We are good to go. What the heck? You can't, I don't know if you can, you can't see it. There was a car that did an illegal like three point turn in the middle of the road. Um, that's an edge case. Oh, darn it. Um, it see, see, this again isn't a full cell driving issue. If you saw on the map, it wanted to go this road in the back way of Aldi and my, that, the, 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 the entrance to all these is right here. There's no reason you should go this way and up and around. That doesn't make any sense. 
that being said, we're going to Lowe's Hardware on the right side of the road. So, this uh, drive had one disengagement so far. We still, this is only half the drive. Um, again, I will probably not record it, but I'm just going to go between Lowe's to Aldi, and then we're going to leave Aldi parking lot to go home. Uh, and I will tell you if there's any major mess-ups or uh, issues um, right there. And, <laughs> crap, I almost missed return. Uh, so this is it, and I will be back to you afterwards. Hey everyone, we are back, coming out of the Aldi, Aldi parking lot. Um, just heads up, I tried the parking lot in Lowe's. Still not ready for parking lots. I'm not counting against full self-driving for not doing well on that. It's not meant for it yet. Uh, it's meant for main roads, not parking lots yet. Um, mostly it's just, it doesn't stay away from the curb. Um, that type of stuff. Uh, same thing for this. I don't think like it could get into this situation properly in a parking lot. It's gonna be it's gonna be a difficult problem. Oh, so, no cars coming. Oh no! <laughs> As you can see, I got a plant from Lowe's. That was great. The, I'm glad they finally fixed this turn. It always turned too wide there, and now it turns just right. It's it's really great actually. So I did have one disengagement. Um, come in between Lowe's and all these. I don't know how I should count that. I think I counted it. If I counted it last time, I counted this time because um, it's not my normal route. My normal test route goes to Aldi, and since I'm stopping past Lowe's, it kind of is extra. Uh, it disengaged nonetheless. Um, for there was a car. Uh, it doesn't even show the entrance, but there's an entrance right here. A car was coming this direction. And I was turning this way to get to Aldi. And my car tried to go while that car was turning. And, and probably would have been... It, it probably would have been either very close or collided with that car. To say the least. Um, but that's why we watch and we disengage. Yeah, it annoys me that it turns the blinker on because it doesn't it's not changing lanes until here then it can turn the blinker on I see how smoothly good that was actually really good um, of course that plant isn't held very well so it's not gonna go um, again it needs to change lanes here so I think it's a heuristic thing right now I it's a mix of heuristics and probably um, AI. That is uh, the planner in terms of a knowing when it wants to change lanes. I'm gonna, since the traffic doesn't seem to be too bad today, at least right here, I'm gonna let it do its thing. And we're gonna see uh, if it's gonna change lanes at an appropriate spot. Uh, mag like, magically, <laughs> not a great word, but um, it did manage to do it. Uh, I didn't have it on video uh, last time. I just was like, hey, let's just go to do it. And the problem is, it waits all the way to here and then gets over. It, it's done it multiple times, it's just not ideal. So here's where it's getting challenging, like it needs to be able to get over. And the only thing that really saves it is sometimes a car like this. This car turns right here, opens up a gap, and now I should be like, this car turns, opens up a gap, and now I can get over. Like it should get over now. I, I turned that blinker on because it was ridiculous that I was trying to pass this uh, Camry right here. But one thing I noticed, I don't know if you noticed from the video, it has a lot more assertive lane changes. Um, that was last version, uh, I noticed that, and this version has it too. And that's really nice to see, actually. Like, those maneuvers are not as, you know, ridiculous. Is a truck coming? No, 
now you speed back up. Good. Okay. Um, those maneuvers aren't so ridiculous like last minute if it can actually make some aggressive moves. That being said, I mean, if Tesla's going after safety, like they just, their, um, for their insurance, they just changed it to where if you drive past 10 p.m. at night, you get dinged because it's statistically less safe to drive at night. Like, this is one of the cases where technically it should be getting over in the left lane here. Uh, but it didn't. Uh, just for courtesy, I don't think it's law here, at least not for pedestrians. It is for police cars, I believe. You're supposed to, if you can, you're supposed to get over. It definitely is law, I know, in multiple states, for sure. Um, that's go what's going to be interesting with version 11. When we get that, um, maybe later this month. We'll see. Um, it'll probably be after Thanksgiving, if we're going to be honest. But uh, maybe as early as next week. That'll be that'll be pretty freaking sweet if it does come out. messed up there um, that has happened in the past but not actually for a long while it kind of ha had a follow car right there and it thought it needed to follow that car fortunately corrected itself with this version um can i say it's better than 69 degree it's hard to say right now i can't say it's um it's like it's not a definite like better it's not like this is amazing better i think it's basically the same i can, I can it's basically just the same to me uh, i think they made a few minor tweaks um but i can't really tell anything different there's a truck coming from the right and it waited, that's exactly what it should have done. And it used to just go, why are you taking so long? There you go. Like, that needs to be improved. It's so hesitant uh, when it's going through uh, the turns like that on the front on the lefts. It's really hesitant, which can actually be just as dangerous as going too fast um, in certain situations. But, um, I think that was great. Um, I don't see any problems um, with that. Obviously, we had a few issues here and there that different from last last time. Uh, but we had different weather, sunny. Uh, all the leaves are off the trees. Um, that type of stuff. Different traffic scenario, different day. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions for me, put them down below. Glad to see uh, any comments you have, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.